Do you really understand fiber? Do you want lower cholesterol, better control of your weight, and a decreased chance of developing type 2 diabetes? The key facts that you need to know about fiber to maximize its powerful benefits. Fiber science coming up next. What is fiber? Okay, okay, you probably know from scrunching your face at whole bran and veggies that fiber is the indigestible part of plant material. You can chew it, but overall it's not going to digest and it's just going to go in one side and out the other. What you may not have realized is there's two types of fiber. There's soluble fiber and there's insoluble fiber. They just happen to work a little differently. Completely understanding these two types of fiber will help you maximize the benefit that fiber is going to have in your diet. Soluble versus insoluble fiber. Like the name implies, soluble fiber dissolves in water. Examples are such things like plant gum and pectin. Insoluble fiber, as you can imagine, does not dissolve in water. It contains parts of the plants like hemicellulose and cellulose. It isn't unusual to find plants with both soluble and insoluble fiber, the concentration of each is just going to differ per plant. So when I'm listing foods that contain significant amounts of soluble fiber, I'm kind of stating that they contain more soluble fiber than insoluble fiber and that they're a good source for that soluble fiber. Foods that are rich in insoluble fiber include nuts, legumes, potatoes, cauliflower, and bran. Foods that are rich in soluble fiber include oats, apples, citrus fruits, carrots, and barley. This is not an exhaustive list. Pros of eating fiber. Each type of fiber has unique benefits. Soluble fiber, when it dissolves, creates a gel-like substance that helps other foods digest. For example, this gel-like substance absorbs sugar and cholesterol and doesn't allow the stuff to be absorbed into your body and it just passes through. This significantly reduces your risk for heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Because insoluble fiber doesn't dissolve, it draws water into your poop. This makes your poops pain-free. The benefit of decreasing type 2 diabetes is going to have a long-term result in improved health, but in the meantime, it is gonna give you those pain-free poops. With insoluble fiber, it is possible for you to have complete control of the inner workings of your bowel movements. Regular fiber can decrease the amount of cholesterol in your bloodstream, help you control your weight because you feel fuller longer, reduces your risk of certain types of cancer, especially colon cancer. The extra chewy nature of fiber means you eat slower, which is good for your digestion. It reduces your risk of type 2 diabetes by regulating your blood sugar. Upping your fiber intake by just two servings of whole grain daily can cut down your risk of type 2 diabetes up to 21%. Is there a thing as too much fiber? Okay, so I had to put this section in there because I don't think there is a human alive that doesn't think that more is better or more causes things to happen quickly or more effectively. But in the case with most nutritional things, medication and foods, more isn't always better. So you're gonna wanna moderate the level of fiber that you have. And we'll go over that in just a few minutes. With fiber, there are true repercussions to excess. Excessive fiber can cause abdominal bloating, distension, extra gas, and also pain. If you want to make fiber part of your regular meal, start slow and don't hulk out. Just remember that fiber and water go hand in hand, so you at least want to keep them equal. How much fiber do I need? Here's how much fiber your body actually needs both soluble and insoluble. Men less than 50 years old should consume at least 38 grams of fiber per day. Whereas men 50 years old or greater should consume 30 grams of fiber per day. However, women less than 50 years old should consume 25 grams of fiber per day. And that same woman, when she's over 50, should decrease her fiber down to 21 grams per day. Fiber tips. Fresh food contains way more fiber than their canned and packaged counterpart. Don't stick to just eating one type of food for your fiber because remember, you want to mix between both soluble and insoluble fiber so you can take advantage of both benefits that come from each end of the spectrum of fiber. Bottom line, 
fiber is responsible for those great poop moments. It's more than just that though. Eating the recommended daily amount of fiber is going to decrease the risk of heart disease. It's gonna decrease the risk of developing type two diabetes. It's gonna lower your cholesterol. The jury's still out, but some studies even say it's gonna decrease your risk for colon cancer. And as you've seen, eating appropriate amounts of fiber doesn't have to be tasteless. There are tons of delicious food that contain both soluble and insoluble fiber, and adding these foods to your diet will give you all the positive health benefits of having a diet full in fiber. And just remember, 30 to 38 grams of fiber for men, and 21 to 25 grams of fiber for women, and this is gonna decrease after the age of 50 to that lower amount, and you'll be spot on to hit all your fiber goals, to get all these wonderful health benefits from fiber and pain-free poops.